Hello and welcome to the Extended Project Qualification presentation. The Extended Project Qualification is often referred to as the EPQ. The biggest question that students usually have about the EPQ is what is it and what do we do if we pick this as a subject? First of all, the EPQ is a chance for you as a student to pick something that you want to study. It has to be something that is of interest to you. However, it doesn't have to be something that is linked to your studies. It can be linked to just something of general interest, something you've been intrigued about, or it can be linked to something to do with a future career plan. And in the EPQ, what you do is after you pick your area of interest is that you design and draft a title for yourself. You come up with your own question and it has to be a question that will enable you to research it and lead you to evaluating and coming to a conclusion about your chosen topic. What you do as well is that once you've picked that, you plan your project, you set out how you're going to go about doing it over the year in year 12, and then you start to do your research on your project. Based on that research, you write up your research, evaluating your information and come into a conclusion. At the end of your project, you do a short 10 minute presentation, which I know worries lots of students, but it really isn't anything to worry about because this short presentation is a chance for you to show your fellow colleagues in your class, plus whoever your class teacher is, how you went about doing your project, what difficulties you had with it, how you overcame those difficulties, and how you ended up delivering your project and what your final conclusion was. Throughout the project, you also have to keep a log to show how you've researched and how you've worked and how you've overcome difficulties. And it also shows you how you, you went about delivering your project as well. Does that sound familiar? Well, I would have thought it doesn't because I think this is the first time that you in your school career have had the chance to be in real control of a subject and a topic that right from the start you set it and you deliver it so it's a bit different to all the other studying that you've done it in the past. The next big question is why do an extended project or an EPQ? There is a basic answer to that which is shown on this slide and that is that if you uh, want to do the EPQ it is graded, obviously, from A star to E, but it is also linked to what are called UCAS points. So if you do want to be somebody who's applying to university, the EPQ can give you points towards an offer from certain universities. And you can see on this slide that the points are there. And obviously, the higher the grade you get, the higher number of UCAS points you get. And UCAS points, as I say, are linked to offers. So this could be the difference between getting into a university and not getting into a university. But it could also help you not have to get such a high grade in some of your main other subjects to fit an offer from a university. Apart from that as well, lots of universities and lots of people who offer higher level apprenticeships and employers like to see students who've done an EPQ because all the skills that you've used in delivering your EPQ are very attractive to employers and to universities because what you are showing is the skills that they often want you to have to be able to complete their courses or work for them in a successful way. As I said, it could be a good thing to do apart from getting UCAS points and apart from getting another qualification at a, at a good grade because of these skills that you develop. You will spend your time doing the EPQ developing really useful skills. It also will show potential employers or universities that you have the ability to organize yourself, meet deadlines, set yourself a target of what to do and deliver it as well. And on this slide, this just shows you the different skills that the project is assessed on. These are the assessment objectives and how we come to a decision about what grade you finally get. So you have four assessment objectives. The 
first one is about how you manage the project, how you identify it, design it, and come up with a plan to carry out the project. The second obje assessment objective is how you use the resources. How do you research? Which ones do you pick and choose? How do you analyze information and data? How do you analyze different types of sources to be able to come to assessment objective three, which is how you develop and realize your project. In other words, what is it that you produce? What is it based upon? And the final assessment objective, which is where the presentation comes in as well, is about how you evaluate how well your project went about, how well you delivered it as well. Throughout the project, you will be having to fill in bits of paperwork to show how you've gone about delivering this project. And here we have an example of what's known as the project proposal form. And this is the first stage. This is the form that you will fill in where you put down your suggested title and you come up with all the steps and ways that you're going to deliver this title. Now, the reason why this form is shown on this slide is just to give you a flavor of how step by step through the process of doing the project, you will be guided by filling in the paperwork and it will help you to deliver your project. And this will also be part of the evidence for what your final assessed grade is from your teachers. So to summarize up the extended project, if you pick to do the EPQ, you will get lessons and they will be in the autumn term where in those lessons, you will be taught the skills that you need to do this project. So you will have a teacher who will act not just as a teacher, but almost university style like as a personal tutor. And that teacher will take you through the skills that you're needed. We will also have Mrs. Bell from the library who helps students to deliver their project because she has an input into those lessons to show people how to research, to show them all the ways that different material can be found so that you can use your project. She also shows people how to reference their projects successfully. And she's there throughout the year as well for advice and guidance on all of the aspects of the research. The lessons as well will help you to select an appropriate title. They all have to be titles that make sure, sure that you can deliver a very successful project. And we will spend quite a bit of time in the autumn term making sure you get that title. And we won't let you start a project without that title, which will be in the form of a question, being absolutely appropriate and set up for you to be successful. Your teacher and your tutor will also give you guidance on how to complete the paperwork. So you have no worries there at all because we will take you through it step by step, ensuring that you get that right as well. And in those lessons, we will teach you different skills that you can use to be able to do your project. And then once we've gone through the formal lessons, then that lesson time will convert into independent time for you with your tutor to be able to research and write up and manage your project and deliver your project. And right up towards the end of year 12, when we need to get the project finished, then after you've submitted it, you will also get support from your teacher to be able to do the presentation. And then, as I said earlier, to do the presentation just to the class. So there's nothing to worry about there. You're not going to be made to do a presentation to the whole school or loads of different people. It will be to the class. And it's a really important skill for you to be able to develop that you can deliver presentation throughout the year as well your teacher will set up independent tutorials with you to review where you've got to give you the opportunity to ask questions and seek help where you need to but ultimately just to keep you on with your project so that you are working independently to deliver this project the two teachers that you can seek advice and guidance from because of the two teachers who deliver the teaching for the project are myself, Mr. James, and Mrs. Atkinson. And we've been doing these projects for a couple of years now, 
and they've been really successful. Lots of people have got really good grades out of them. And I know it's helped lots of people go on and take the next step in whatever they want to do, be it university or a higher level apprenticeship. And so it is a really useful qualification to do. If you do pick the extended project, then you will do it in year 12. So it's a one year course and you're assessed, you will get your grade in the summer between year 12 and year 13. There's no exams with the extended project. It is purely and simply your project, which will be a large, long piece of writing. It's a little bit like a mini dissertation that uh, people do when they finish their degrees at university. Um, but it's not as long as that, but it is still an extensive piece of writing. Your teachers mark it and assess it, and it's moderated by the exam board. But I'll just repeat, there aren't, there is no exam in, in this subject. So I hope that's been useful for you. If you've got any further questions or any issues, if you're thinking about the extended project, but you're not sure about it and you need some more information, then please feel free to either contact myself, Mr. James, or Mrs. Atkinson. Thank you.